What is up my people? It's your Renee from Cali and Nate and today is Nate's collection video. So of course we're gonna start with some G1 goodness up here. That of course is my Devastator and it is signed you can see it right there. It is signed by Arthur Burkhardt. The voice of Devastator. Now these are all the G1 reissues from them but I've also got the original G1 a Starscream and Hot Rod. Moving on over to the next one, we got ourselves a uh, the Seed Cons, and we got Rodimus. We got our Power Master off from his prime, and he done lost his Power Master. Uh, ult this is uh, my original G1 Ultra Magnus. As well as my original Scorponok. And then poor old Galvatron done lost his Matrix. So let's fix it for him. Because Rodimus and him have been fighting again. Alright. Alright. So we're going to come on down to our next shelf. Throw a little light on it so y'all can see. This is of course Beast Wars. We've got uh, Megatron. You know from Beast Wars 2 and Beast Wars Neo. As well as Big Convoy, Masterpiece, Optimus Primal, and Cheetor. Then the stand-ins, of course, is going to be Rat Trap and Rhinox until we get the MPs. <sighs> right, there's a lot. So we got Alternators Raw Hot Rod, Revoltec. We got from MMC, we've got Calidus and then a Shattered uh, Glass or Asterisk Mode. Which is better much known for as the Lost Light. We've got ourselves half of Skylinks. I'm waiting on the other half to come in. And then we got Buster, Skyfire. Uh, we got the Make Toys. Um, this is, of course, their take on Cybertron Starscream. Highly recommended. Then we have Alternators Grimlock. So these are the only two alternators I have in my collection. Alright, coming down. These are some model kits that I have. We've got Gundam Barbados, Lupus Rex. Of course, Master Grade um, R78. We've got a couple of these Kotobukiya um, Little dudes, of course, you know, it's Thundercracker and Skywarp, Flame Toys, Optimus Prime, and a recent acquisition is going to be Mafex Spider Man. Alright, this is kind of my miscellaneous shelf. Got a little bit of everything in here, including Pops, an SH Figwart, Loyal Subjects that never like to stand, and we got a Chase Punisher pop which is my favorite pop and then I've got hey Hugh Jackman side old man Logan all right coming on down we got some graphic novels trade paperbacks you name it you guys know I'm a comic guy so I had to have before Watchmen that is actually Watchmen in the middle here and coming on down of course got to have my manga okay all right, coming on up. These are my Marvel Legends that I have today. Of course, this little setup I have. I've got a bunch in here. These are all X-Men, X-Force. So this is kind of my X-Factor slash Excalibur slash whatever versus X-Force and Deadpool. <laughs> and then as the classic old school Toy Biz Weapon X. All right. Next on, we got, of course, X Men. Of course, this is pretty much everything I got. You know, it's hero, the X Men heroes, generally X Men, whatnot, golden, uh, blue teams, and of course, got the Lalandra I just made versus all the villains, including the Black Variant Apocalypse. Shout out to my boys for helping me get that. And we got our Fantastic Four. Just need the rest of the Inhumans to come out. 
I'll be happy. And a Doctor Doom. We got the. Here's all my 12 inch figures. Let me back up so you guys can see. And we got Uncanny X Force Deadpool. And Weapon X. And then the regular. All right, coming on down. We got these are all my wrestlers. As you can tell, I'm an NWO fan. Sting, anything McFoley, of course. And then we got NECA. This is God of War. And then Diamond Select, Dark Tower. You know, being uh, the Man in Black and the Gunslinger. Now we're gonna go through some comics. So let's hold up, and I'll show them to you. It takes me a sec oof, to get down here. I'm all at the bottom row. All right. Actually, we'll start from this side. So we've got some signed books. Of course, excellent number one, signed by J. Scott Campbell and sketched by him. We've got Wolverine True Believers, signed by Chris Claremont. Uncanny X-Men 221. That is, of course, first appearance of Mr. Sinister. X-Factor number six, first appearance of Apocalypse. Wolverine number one. You guys know I'm a Wolvie fan, so gotta, gotta give my props to him. This is a uh, Generations All New Wolverine. Um, this is a one in like one thousand that they made. So definitely love that. Deadpool. This is the uh, GI Joe homage, as you can tell. Superman two thirty three. This, of course, is done by Neil Adams. Neil Adams, my favorite artist, which is why I've got Green Lantern seventy six. First, Neil Adams, Denny O'Neill story. Detective Comics, 400. First appearance of Man Bat. It's also Neil Adams. Okay, we got Amazing Spider-Man, 298. Cameo of Venom is also the first Todd McFarlane on Spider-Man. Of course... Can't have that one without having 300. 300, of course, is being the first full appearance of Venom. Got Iron Fist, number 14, which is the first appearance of Sabretooth. New Mutants, number 87, first appearance of Cable. New Mutants, 98. First appearance of Deadpool. NYX number four. Second appearance of X-23. I'm looking for NYX number three, which is their first appearance. Tomb of Dracula number one. I love horror, so you guys know. Um, that's why I went and got this one. This is, of course, Neil Adams' cover. Wolverine number one. This is a holographic, and I don't know how good it shows up a little bit. This is where Genesis, the son of Cable, tried to give Wolverine his adamantium back, and it actually backfired. Made him into feral Wolverine for a while. This is Wolverine 145. This, of course, is when he did get his adamantium back, but this is a Nabisco variant. So you actually had to mail in things to Nabisco to get this one. Very sought after. There's not many of them made. Of course, X-Men number four. Of course, this is one of my pride and joy books here. First appearance of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. First Quicksilver. First Scarlet Witch. First Toad. So, definitely love this. Second appearance of Magneto. Because, you know, X-Men number one is the first. Uh, we have X-Men 57. This is, of course, Neil Adams, signed by him. Got this a while back. 
Wolverine number one. Of course, this is signed by Chris Claremont. All right. Daredevil number 181. And here, I'm going to pause this for a second. Let me show you why. Okay, now this is a very special book. Let me show you why. Right there. Frank Miller signed Daredevil. Death of Electra. Had to have it. So. Alright. Of course, these are some customs I had done. Um, of course, this is Deadpool. These were done by my boy Adams Fields. And. That, I believe, is it for those. Okay, and then we got some of the IDW collection. Um, these are, of course, Transformers. I'm missing a couple. I got to get three, five, seven, and eight, and then one and two. Um, and then some trade paperbacks. So, yeah, that's some of my books. Now, we got a lot more to go, so stick with me. All right, hold on. All right, so as you can see here, these are all comics. All the way up to here. And I'm not going to go through them all, but give me a second, and I'm actually going to go through one of these boxes. These are like some of my valuable ones. All right, hold on. Okay, focus. So these are, this is kind of like the, oh crap, grab the box and run it's of comics. First Lady Deathstrike. First Carnage. One of my favorite covers. First Frank Miller on Daredevil. First Hand. The first appearance of stick first appearance of nuke of course another death of Electra second appearance of Wolverine first appearance of mystique okay this is actually the first time Tom McFarlane had done Spider-Man and D Daredevil. Second one. Return of Wolverine. Signed by Charles Sewell. Rom, number one. Love my boss. You guys know that. Which is why this 996 nine, of Transformers number one is in the box. Web of Spider-Man. First cameo of Venom. Web of Spider-Man, of course, first Scarlet Spider. Wolverine, number one, from the miniseries. Wolverine, number one, first appearance of Patch. As you guys can tell, I like that issue. Wolverine Origins, number ten, first appearance of Dokken. X Factor 5, of course, that is the cameo of Apocalypse. X Force number 2, second appearance of Deadpool. X Force 23, third appearance of Deadpool. Okay, we got Absolute Vertigo, first appearance of Preacher. Of course, Batman 200, had to have it. Sword of Azrael, Chuck, you know, had Kevin Nolan, uh, Q Kusada, and everybody else signed this one. Before Watchmen, signed by the late Len Wine, or Len Wynn. Okay, now these are fun ones. Crisis and Infinite Earth. I've got the whole 12 part series, and they're all signed by George Perez, Marv Wolfman, and Dick Giordano. So one, two, 
three, four, and these take a long time to get done. Five, six, seven, of course, the death of Supergirl. Eight, of course, death of the Flash, Barry Allen Flash, Silver Age. Number nine. Number ten. Eleven. And twelve. Now they had a couple of companions to go with. Now these are not signed, of course. Crisis on Infinite Earth Index. And the crossover. So this is kind of telling you all the issues of DC that was crossed over with it. The first Frank Miller drawings of the Dark Knight returns. First Neil Adams on, the, on comics for Bat for Detective Comics. The Flash signed by Jeff Jones and sketched. Green Lantern number 19. Signed by Mark Nodell, the original creator of Alan Scott, Green Lantern. Justice League, 50. Signed by Ron Mars and Daryl Banks, with Parallax. Justice League, number 9. Very hard, very hard to find in a good condition. Mine's only in a very good. Of course, Legends, first appearance of Amanda Waller. You got some old Sandman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, the one everybody wants, first appearance of death. And nine, or 18. Okay, uh, zero hour, signed and sketched by Martin O'Dell. Ash vs. Evil Dead, signed by Chris Sims and Chad Bowers. Baby Teeth, number one, signed by Donnie Cates. Black Eyed Kid, signed by Joe Pruitt. Curse Words, number one, signed and sketched by Charles Sewell. Extreme, Liefeld, and um, I forgot who the other ones were. There's a bunch on it. My boys, Cleveland Brown, this is when the uh, Action Lab was doing a football run. <laughs> it didn't last long. Uh, of course, yeah, Prowl. These are all signed by Adam Fields. One. The com they're a com convention exclusive. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And then these are all the variants that they had for it. Six. There's like. And the only difference was, was right up here. Handwritten variants. Of course, spawn number one. Number nine, first appearance of Angela. Ten crossover. Jim Lee sign Wildcats number two. Young Blood done by Chad. King size X Men annual number two. Number three. Number five. Number six. 
Now, some of these other ones in the back are just some fillers. But, let me show you the one I wanted to show you. Okay. First cameo of Gambit. And, oh yeah. Gotta show that one. Special edition number one. It is a 9-8. Very hard to find. This is a reprint of Giant Size X-Men. Okay. All right. So, that's some of my favorite comics. So, with that being said, let's go on to the next set of stuff. Okay, before we do that, let's pan on up and look around at the wall stuff. So, of course, we've got Star Saber and Victory Leo. These are, of course, Masterpiece and Third Party. We got Double Evil from Vance Hobby, their Overlord. And then Nucleon Quest Optimus. G1 reissues. Bumblebee, Swerve, Tailgate, and Outback. Alright. Of course I got... So this is kind of like my play area, so to speak. Like all my new stuff I play with, so to speak. All the Mega Constructs. Uh, G2 Megatron, which I just got. And some Bot Bots. Alright. All right, now this is some of my cart. This is all the stuff I have on cards. So we have Friday the 13th, NECA, Jason, video game, Toy Biz, Weapon X. I uh, got the NECA of Xenomorph, Grid versus Celtic, and then the old school Alien versus Predator. My Rob Liefeld signed Uncanny X Force Deadpool. And the old school Beast Wars Megatron vs. Optimus. Before they got turned into a T Rex into an op and a monkey. X twenty three. Old school Toy Biz. The Tick Arthur. My boy Tim Couch. I've had this for a long time. And then Venom. All right, all right, and we're just getting started, people. All right, we're back now. Uh, of course, my wife Jess got me this for Christmas a while back, and then I've got the Jason first Jason that signed the mask. All right, now what we're going to do? We're going to go across from the top, and then we'll come back. So, of course, we got Fort Max. Devastator, Cog to go with Fort Max, Metroplex, Predator King. Gotta have a little bit of Star Trek. Trip to Con. I uh, just got this guy not too long ago. This is, of course, Studio Series Optimus combined with Jetfire. Uh, we got Optimus Prime. This is the Ultimate Edition Asia Premium Series. I mean, it's pretty much an Optimus on crack with all the weapons and everything you ever need. Got Unicron. Knocking stuff over. We got Primus. Fans Toys Phoenix. Fans Toys Terminus Giganticus, which is, of course, MP Omega Supreme. He's so big, I can't even have the wing, the uh, his wings up. All right. Then we got Classic 84 Voltron, the Super Mini Plus Voltron. We got my Power Rangers collection, and they're all, as you can tell, Tommy. We got the Dino Ultra Zord up there. All the way in the back up there, we've got the Yamato Prototype VF1S Valkyrie with the um, Super Packs. And then, of course, you've got the Macross Frontier. This is the VF27. Alright, now we need some light because it gets dark around this area. So, this is my NECA collection. Some of it. Uh, we got Xenomorphs, we've got Aliens, uh, we've got Marines, Ripley. Okay. 
And then you got Predators. You know, you got Machiko. You got the old Jungle Hunter back there. You got the Ahab. You got the Dutch. And then you got the new phasing variant Predator. And then, of course, you guys know I love Evil Dead. So I've got every NECA Evil Dead that I can find. All I have all the Ash vs. Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2, Ash. I mean, the Mezco Ash. It's in the movie Maniacs, uh, Evil Ash as well. And then I've got my ne uh, NECA Terminator stuff. Of course, you've got some endoskeletons, T-1000s, Arnold. you got to have an Arnold. Both versions, the Ultimate and then that Power Arm one I just got. All right, and so we got us uh, some Thundercats. Of course, these are the Funko ones that came out. These are the classics from Maddie Collector before they shut down. We got all my turtles. We got my NECA. This is the SDCC set and the Fig Warts, which I can't wait to get my NECA uh, cartoon ones in. And then my horror area. So we got Jason part two, Friday for part two. Got that's what we call the knapsack head, Jason. And of course, he comes with the little accessories. You got old school Pennywise, the ultimate, and these are all ultimate necklaces too, by the way, down here. Um, you got the Friday the 13th. Part 3, 3D, which I loved all the accessories. The Ultimate Mike Myers. Uh, Freddy, Part 3, Dream Warriors. I like that chest that he came with. Got Leatherface. And we got Chucky. And then over here, the Semesco Horror. We got Mike Myers. And we got Dawn of the Dead. And as you can see, there's a spot open right there for, for Jason when he comes out. All right. Then we got some graphic novels. Of course, these are all the ones I've kept throughout the years, as you can see. Love Robotech. You guys know my cross and whatnot. I always collect those, so I had to keep all of those. All right. Now, now we're going to start on the rest of the bots, and there's a lot of them. So let's get going. All right, as you can see, I have a lot of bots in here. I mean, we're talking, so we got Optimus, we got Blaster, we got Ironhide, we got Inferno, we got G2, Bumblebee, we got regular Bumblebee, we got Toro, which is their x transpots version of Cliffjumper. I've got the rewind and all the little guys and the tapes that came with them. So you got the Sphinx, which is their Mirage Hot Rod, Target Master Hot Rod, you got Road Rage, you got Jazz, Wheeljack, okay. You got Gun Dog, which is the Make Toys version of their Hound. Sunstreaker, Sideswipe, you got uh, Red Alert, G2 Sideswipe, you got Trax, you got Smokescreen, you got Blue Streak, and you got Prowl. So yeah, I like my car boss. Alright, this is kind of like my Season 3 show. It is a kind of a jumbled mess right now. Delta Magnus, Ultra Magnus, MP9, the TRU one for Rodimus Convoy, Rodimus Prime. We got Hardhead, Unique Toy Sorter, which is crap, don't buy. Uh, Rekgar, Chrome Dome. And all in the back there, DX9 Carry. All right, and then we got Point Blake. We got uh, Springer, 
Cup, RC, Receptor, and of course, just got him in not too long ago is Hoodlum, which is their version of Hot Rod, which is why he's on this shelf. He looks the best in my book. Ollie and Artfire. All right, I'm gonna keep on coming down. All right, hold on. Let me sit down. I'm getting old. Ooh. All right, so first up, just got him in not too long ago. Soundwave, of course. We got all these Insecticons from Fans Toys. We got Black Convoy. Shockwave, which is the Quake Wave one from Fans Toys. MP36 Megatron, which is why he's in the middle. He's the best. Uh, we got Mate Toys Starscream. Mate Toys Skywarp and Thundercracker. Uh, it's hard to see them, but we got the old TRU, or, yeah, TRU, Thundercracker, MP11, Coronation, Starscreen. And then we kind of get into the Season 3. Now, if you guys can kind of tell, I had Season 1 and 2 on the top for Autobots, Season 1 and 2 on the third shelf, and then Season 3 and the Rebirth on the fourth. So, with that being said, you got Provider, you got Exhaust. We got G2 Breakdown. Can't wait for Flip Out to come out. Okay, we got two Cyclonuses. Now, the one on the left, of course, is the Quietest. On the right is the Yellow Ghost. So, I like them. Then we got Sovereign. I just need an Andrus, which is Scourge. Sound Blaster with Rat Bat. Weird Wolf. And all the way in the back. You guys can see. My way. Okay, coming on down. We got my Dinobots. We got all all four of the fan toys ones except for Grinder. That's because I got the MP08 Grimlock with the booster seats of uh, feet. Old school 20th anniversary MP01 Optimus. And yes, I still have MP5 Megatron. As bad as he is, I couldn't sell him. Because it's still one of my old ones. Alright, on to the movie shelf. Alright, so we got, of course, these are all leaders or voyagers or whatnot. We got Revenge of the Fallen Optimus, Original Optimus, Battle Recon, Voyager of the Fallen. Leader Megatron, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, Sentinel Prime, Ironhide, Jetfire, Galvatron, Megatron, and I don't remember what your name is. Alright, that's pretty much the first three movies, and then these are the next two. So, of course, we've got Voyager Grimlock, Leader Grimlock, uh, Slash, you, all the little, all the Dinobots, <coughs> excuse me, and Slog. Uh, last night, Leader Metatron, Zeus Nitro, Skulltron, and Steelbane, a random Bumblebee, Squeaks, Bumblebee. Um, that was, of course, the redo one that never showed up on stores here, but luckily uh, I was able to get through T-Man. Uh, we got Crosshairs, Dragon Storm, Voyager Megs, Movie the Best from Takara. This is their Nemesis Optimus Prime, which is a redo of Combat Caliber Prime. Voyager Optimus, uh, The Last Night Hound, Cogman. And Hot Rod, which those two were exclusives and hard to find. All right, now into Studio Series. And like I said, this is a clustered mess. <laughs> I need to fix it. Um, as you can, I've had, I've got everything <laughs> from Studio Series, literally everything, except for um, Studio Series Thirty One Battle Damaged Megatron, which is just him with a little bit of damage, like with the uh, heads and stuff. 
uh, Berserker, Crowbar, original crankcase, the new crankcase, Crowbar, um, Hatchet, you got Bumblebees for days, you got the V-Dub one, you got the original series series, which that's so crappy, I've thrown it a hundred times and you still won't break in pieces. Uh, World War II, Sideswipe, Dropkick, Ironhide, um, uh, you got, was it, KSI Century, KS, you know, Shadow Raider. Then you got the two, uh, original and then Revenge of the Fallen, Starscream, Dark of the Moon, Megatron, Grimlock, Voyager, Optimus, both versions of Ratchet, uh, Jazz, and a little bitty Hot Rod. Now, I just got the clunker one on the left, and then the other one is the set, which you had to get from like Target or whatnot. So, hard to find that one actually. Alright. Now, these are kind of like the movie masterpiece stuff. Um, got Battle Ops Bumblebee in the back, MPM Bumblebee, MPM Ironhide, MPM VW Bumblebee. NPM uh, Optimus Unique Toys Challenger. Highly recommend anybody and their brother get that figure. Uh, cursing my boy Extra Zero got TF Evo's Hot Rod Hot Rod Legendary um, from the Bumblebee movie Optimus. Couple of those Energonic Nighters Barricade. And then, Revenge of the Fallen, Starscream. Now, the reason why him and Battle Ops are in here, they were the original NPMs. NPM 1, NPM 2. That's why they're down here versus up on the top shelf. And this is what's left of my Armada, Energon, Cybertron, you name it, and Rid. So, got Magna Convoy, which is the TRU exclusive set. Bar Convoy, Scourge, uh, a couple of Hot Shots, Red Megatron, Dark Cybertron, uh, Scorponop, and Nemesis Breaker. That's it. I just had a massive sale. That's why. All right. Now we're getting into generations. And there's a lot of them. Of course, Abominus, Alita One. You name it, Rodimus, Starscream, I Hate You, um, Dreadwind, Skywind, all the Prime Masters and Micro, uh, the Dinobots, Ferdo, Rodimus, uh, we got Optimus Primal, and all the way in the back back there is Evolution Optimus. <laughs> Punch, counter punch, Rekgar, and then the Autobot uh, Prime Masters in their armors. All right. Now we go to Titan's Return. Uh, we've, of course, we got all the leaders. We have Sky Shadow. We have uh, Six Shot, Overlord, and then from the Chaos and Velocitron sets. You got uh, Quick Switch. You got the Titans Return and the Takara. Um, Hot Rod. You got Metal Hawk. You got RC. I uh, forgot what her name was. Windblade. All the Microbots. The only one I'm missing is Cosmos. I need to get Cosmos. Uh, cup, Grotesque, Perceptor, uh, Twin Twist, you got Slug Slinger, Trigger Happy, uh, you got Titler Generations Tidal Wave, and then Con um, Battle Convoy, or G2, whatever they want to call them now. And of course you got the Insecticons, and you got uh, the clones 
and repugnus. Both versions. All right, we're almost done, people. This is the generation slash combiner wars shelf. Uh, you got old school, old school Rekkar, new school Rekkar, old school Junkian. Generations RC, Sandstorm, Combiner Wars, Ultra Magnus, Blur, Hot Rod, a Cup. The only one I'm missing now is Springer. And if you can tell, we have a little Skylinks back there. Uh, Blast Off, and uh, whatchamacallit, um, Megatron. Right behind him is Primitive, Optimus Prime, which was an SCCC exclusive. And you got the Amazon exclusive Nemesis Prime. You got Galvatron from Takara, Cyclonus, and Scourge. Alright. Then we got Legends uh, Super Genrai, Soundwave with all the tapes. Literally all the tapes that came for Soundwave. Um, uh, custom RC from Prime. That's the only Prime figure I have. A Shockwave from Walgreens. Do not buy. Um, just fun little evergreen toys to play with. And Throne of the Primes from SECC. Then last but not least, Siege. These are all the new Siege ones that's came out so far that I've got. Including the two new patrols. Rescue Patrol, and these little guys. So yeah, highly recommend them. That's going to be my new favorite line, I think, for a while. So, people, that is Nate's collection. I know a lot of people have asked for it. Uh, I'm not going through all my comics. Nope, not doing it. Too many. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys had fun. And... I'll see you guys on the next video, and we'll have a good time. All right, all right. It's Ben, your redneck from Cali Nate. You guys take it easy and have a good one. All right, all right, all right.